So this is podcast one of unit one. And before we get into any of the material, I want to go through just the unit one objectives. I'm going to try to present what objectives we're going to be going through in each podcast so you can understand why we're doing what we're doing. And again, these are the things that you need to master in order to move on to the next part. If you don't master these objectives, you're not uh, going to move on. You've got to get these. So if you can go through these uh, and check them off and know, yep, can do that, can do that, you're probably well on your way to mastering these skills and moving on to the next unit. But in this unit, uh, this is going to be unit one, basically going over minerals. Uh, we're starting off in geology, some basic stuff. So you're going to be able to uh, list and describe the four different sciences that make up earth science. Earth science itself is not a, uh, a single science. It's a bunch of sciences brought together. Uh, you're going to be able to describe the scientific method and terms associated with it, like hypothesis, theory, and law. You're going to be able to describe the four main spheres that are contained within the Earth, all right, and the relative sizes to each other. You're going to be able to uh, describe what an atom is in basic atomic vocabulary, like uh, what an ion is, what an atom is, what an element is, uh, atomic mass and number. You're going to be able to describe the three chemical bonds and how those bonds affect uh, a substance properties. And you're going to be able to list uh, the criteria that a substance must meet in order to make uh, to be considered a mineral and uh, how these minerals form in different ways. And then finally, this is building up to uh, mineral identification using the properties such as its color, its streak, its luster, its hardness, cleavage, fracture, and other special properties, uh, and then using those to identify it. In this podcast, you're going to be going through the top two of these. Uh, look at the four branches of earth science and describe each what they study and then also just some basic terms on the scientific method So let's go ahead and get started <clears throat> So earth science is four sciences really composed into one and the first one is geology geology is the main part that we're going to look at in this semester Geology is the study of the earth All right, it's the study of uh, the materials that make it up and how those uh, materials change, the processes that change. And there's really two branches here. There's physical geology and there's historical geology. Physical geology is uh, the examination of material that make up the earth and possible explanations for the many processes that shape it. So in other words, you're looking at minerals and minerals compose uh, or, or make up rocks and those rocks are formed in certain ways. And the way that they are formed uh, can tell us about how the earth uh, was was made in this part, how it's changed in its past. Uh, uh, things like earthquakes, volcanoes, how do those work? Uh, that's physical geology. Historical geology, on the other hand, is taking that information and then trying to understand Earth's long history. It's four and a half billion years. What is, uh, has gone on? How's it changed? How's the uh, biology ch affected it? And so on. So that's the two branches of geology. Again, we're going to be spending most of this entire semester looking at geology. Uh, in this picture, this is a picture of uh, a volcano, but it's also a picture of the next branch of meteorology. Meteorology is a study of weather and climate. Um, <clears throat> things like uh, lightning, hurricanes, tornadoes, uh, cold fronts, warm fronts, and all of that stuff. Global warming is included in meteorology. The third science that is contained within earth science is oceanography. Now, that is just the study of the composition and the movements of the seawater, as well as coastal pa uh, processes, seafloor topography, and marine life. So in other words, it's studying the ocean, all the things that are in the ocean, the water, its uh, composition, how it moves, and all the animals that live inside of it. That's oceanography. Uh, it has a big effect on the geology, the uh, weather, but unfortunately, again, we're not going to be studying it directly a lot just because of time constraints. The last uh, science that's contained within earth science is astronomy. This is the last semester that we study astronomy. And astronomy is just the study of the universe. Everything that's contained within it, how did it begin? How did uh, things like the earth, the moon, uh, how did it form? Why do we have tides? How do stars work? Supernovas, the Big Bang, uh, comets, asteroids, you name it. Anything outside of our atmosphere is studied within uh, astronomy. 
Now, since we've got those four branches, that was the first um, objective that you need to know for the standards. And there's one other thing that we're going to hit. We're just going to really quickly review the scientific method. It's something that I'm sure you guys have all discussed before, but let's just uh, do a quick review. The scientific method is basically just how scientists go about learning about nature. Uh, we make observations. We have questions on how things work. That's usually where we start. And there's no set way of going about this, but this is the general rule. You start with these questions. You start with these observations. Then you make a hypothesis or an educated guess on why something is the way it is, why it does that. And you've got to test it. If a hypothesis is not testable, it is not a hypothesis. It's not science. It must be testable. You test that using an experiment. Now, you run it through the experiment, and two things can happen. One, you disprove your hypothesis. It didn't work. Then you'd make a new hypothesis and test it again. Or what you could do is that you support your hypothesis. One thing you do not do is you prove it. You don't prove anything using a scientific method here. You're just supporting these hypotheses. Now, if you have a hypothesis that is tested over and over again and not proven wrong, it will eventually be accepted as a theory. All right. A theory is just a very well tested and supported hypothesis, an explanation for something that we see and do or something that happens in nature. One thing that does get confused with the theory is a law. Now, a law is just basically, a law is something that describes uh, how things work, but not why they work. For example, Newton's law of gravity. Newton's law of gravity describes very, very well, uh, if you take a ball, drop it, it's going to accelerate at 32 feet per second and hit, until it hits the ground. Doesn't explain, though, why it's falling. What is causing that ball to be attracted towards the Earth and accelerate at that amount. That's the difference between a law and a theory. <clears throat> All right, so quick review of the scientific method, uh, the four sciences that make up Earth science. Please bring your questions if you have any over this material. Ask me tomorrow uh, before you start into the activity. And otherwise, that's it. That's the first podcast.